In 1973, statistician Francis Anscombe published a paper that contained four fictitious XY datasets, plotted here. He uses these datasets to make an important point. That point becomes clear if we blindly go about doing parameter estimation on these datasets. First, let's look at the average X values for the four datasets. They are all the same. How about the average Y values? Again, all the same. And what if we do a linear regression on each of the datasets? They all have the same line. Surely, some of the fits are less optimal than others. Let's look at the sum of the squares, the residuals. Oh my, they are basically all the same as well. Of course, Anscombe constructed these datasets so that this would happen. The point he was making is very important. You already have some powerful tools for statistical inference. You can compute summary statistics and optimal parameters, including linear regression parameters. And by the end of the course, you will be able to construct confidence intervals, which quantify uncertainty about the parameter estimates. These are crucial skills for any data analysis, no doubt. But look before you leap. This is a powerful reminder to do some graphical exploratory data analysis before you start computing and making judgments about your data. For example, this data set might be well modeled by a line, and the regression parameters will be meaningful. The same is true of this data set, but the outlier throws off the slope and intercept. After doing EDA, you should look into what is causing that outlier. Now this data set might also have a linear relationship between X and Y, but from the plot, you can conclude that you should try to acquire more data for intermediate X values to make sure that it really does. And this data set is definitely not linear, and you need to choose another model. Explore your data first. Now I'll let you prove to yourself that these data sets give the same regression parameters. It will be good practice, and seeing is believing.